I spent about, oh, Josh, I want to say about 10 years working with a nonprofit organization that focused on individuals with HIV and AIDS. And let me tell you, I learned quite a bit working in this arena. First, I learned when they get money from the city, state, or even the feds, those funds are restricted, which means they can only use that money for specific purposes. This way they can't wiggle it and say, oh, we're gonna use this to go on a shopping spree. No, no, no. That money is used for a design purpose. And so nonprofits, especially those who get restricted funds, they take that money very seriously. All these different nonprofits who do similar nonprofits, they all talk to each other. When I was working in a nonprofit, I was surprised at how intimately made familiar they were with what other nonprofits did because they all work in the same space. Now they may not all provide the same services, but they all work in the same space serving the same communities. So they can tell you really quickly if they can't do something, who else can do it? A lot of those employees go from nonprofit to the same nonprofit circles. So it's not uncommon for somebody who worked in one nonprofit to leave to go take a job with another nonprofit that are still operating within that space. Why is that important? Well, it's important because they are so intimately familiar with what the prior job did as well as the next one. You get the wealth of somebody who has operated in multiple different types of arenas and it is an awesome, awesome advantage to you. They are also intimately familiar with whatever resources the governments have. When I was working with this private nonprofit, I was blown by the fact that they were fairly, they were intimately familiar with what monies and services were available at the city level, the county level, the state level, and the federal level. They know all those things. And so a lot of times when people turn their nose up when I'm like, look, check out a nonprofit, they need to have these relationships in order for them to move forward. And they have a lot of relationships with government officials as well. Some nonprofits, depending on the, the, the way they're set up, a large swath of their money comes from whether it be the federal government, city, state, or the county. So as a result, they get the opportunity to make intimate relationship. As a result, they have the opportunity to make relationships with people in all levels of the government. You often sit here and you pause and you say, well, how do I make a connection with this elected official? Find out what a particular area that that person is passionate about. And that's a nice way to make an inroads and so forth because a lot of these nonprofits, they have relationships with the governments because a lot of times nonprofits, depending on what areas they're supporting, they are filling in the blanks for those areas where the private sector and the public sector can't always fill. Mm -hmm.